So you're feeling crafty and for whatever reason, you wanna take off the front bumper of your Tesla Model 3. All right, you can do that. It's kind of simple, kind of complicated. You're gonna have to remove the inner part to the frunk, but if you follow along with the video, we'll give you an idea of how to do it. Um, this was our first time doing it and we did it pretty well. So check us out and see how we did it. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take out the frunk, like the plastic lining of the frunk. And the way you do that is pretty simple. It just has like seven screws that you have to remove. They're all 10 millimeter, they're all the same size. So that's pretty cool that Tesla makes like their cars with using one size screw, at least in this part of it. Um, so that way you're not having to buy different tools and stuff like that. But yeah, so you're gonna wanna rip off the, uh, the frunk and that will give you access to the like inner part of the car, which will then it's reveal more in. screws, which then you unscrew to then remove the bumper. So this is what it looks like once you remove the inside lining of the frunk. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've never done this before, so it's pretty like awesome seeing all the wiring and stuff like that. And that's as it's made in the USA. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, once you do that, you have more screws that you're gonna unscrew along those edges right there. And then you're gonna have these screws in the back part over here. There's like three of them that you're gonna have to pull out. Um, it's also the, the same size. Well, well, these are not screws. These you just pull off. These are just like little, little tabs that you pull out. But the other ones, those are all 10 millimeters. Uh, once you pull that off, then that reveals the 10 millimeters that you have to unscrew. That's under the wheel well. You have to like pull back the trim a little bit and you have to do that on both sides. And then once you do that, you go to the bottom. There's those little plugs. You just pull them off. Be careful not to break them because they are made of plastic. Um, you just gotta like wiggle them a little bit. We just use like a flathead screwdriver to like wiggle them off um, and they should pop right off. They're, you just don't want to break them because you know they're necessary. So now you're ready to just pull off the front bumper. After you take all the screws off, just yank it right off, but not too hard because there are some wires and there's one screw that you're gonna want to unscrew. Um, it's on both sides. It looks like that. Um, it's like at the bottom and you also got the wiring right there. Um, see that little hole right there? That's where the screw was. So just be careful not to like pull too hard. Um, just lightly pull it when you get the screws at the top off and the, the plugs at the bottom. Um, Cause you don't want to mess up this wiring. This is the wire that connects um, the front bumper sensors to the car. So it's rather important. We use a little pry tool uh, to get it off. You want to be patient with this. You don't just want to rip it off. Cause again, this is an important wire. You don't want to be breaking that. Um, knowing Tesla, they'll probably charge you like a million dollars to get that fixed if you do break it. So be careful, but eventually you'll get it off. And then from there, the bumper will come right off. And then to put it back together, you just do everything in reverse. It's pretty simple, not that complicated. Kind of complicated, but also simple. That sounds confusing, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know why you're taking off your bumper too. We did it because we want to wrap the car. Why are you doing it?